Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back for episode 7 of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Last episode, we set up our basic power system as well as making the Metal Farmer from Industrial Craft 2. And today, hopefully, by the end of the episode, we will have our very first Tinker's Construct Hammer, which will make mining so much easier, and it will be fantastic. But before we start making that, I would like to point out that we are now on the Patreon server, and we have a few people online and we have a gift from codeman here it says thank you for the server and he has left me a stack of raspberry juice now uh, i am going to make a point of asking people on the server not to give me free stuff uh, because i don't want someone just like walking over and throwing a stack of diamonds at me or throwing a quarry at me because that would make it way too easy but I will make an exception for food because I am terrible at gathering food. And I think Codeman probably knows that. So I will graciously accept this stack of raspberry juice, which will probably keep me alive throughout the remainder of today's episode. And we'll just stick this barrel down like here for now. And we'll stick the sign on it and just leave it there. Sure. <laughs> All right. So... What we need to do is we need to work towards getting ourselves a tool forge. Now, uh, we pointed this out before. The tool forge needs four dense refined iron plates, which are made in the compressor and require some refined iron plates, which are made in the metal former. So we have the metal former. We can go ahead and put this down somewhere. And uh, as I say that, we are kind of running out of space. I'll put it here for now. Uh, people did point out we should not pick this up without a wrench. Because if you pick it up without a wrench, it will break. And even if you do pick it up with a wrench, there is a chance it will break. So uh, we probably shouldn't pick this up anytime soon because it was way too hard to make. Now, the next thing we need to do is A, get a compressor. And B, get something to power both the metal former and the compressor. I'm going to start with power because it's going to take a while for the metal former to turn all of our steel which we do have over here. I got some cooking up uh, between episodes. Uh, it's going to take a while for the metal former to turn all of our steel into plates. And then, of course, we can compress it afterwards. So... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a generator. Now, I don't think that the generator from Industrial Craft, I don't think the recipe's changed at all. Uh, it's still three iron plates, one iron furnace, and then an RE battery, which has changed a little bit. Uh, it requires some electrotine. Electrotine? I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, it requires some electrotine in the middle here, as opposed to some redstone. But overall, it looks fairly easy to do. So we're going to need a fair bit of iron, uh, a little bit of tin, and a smidging of redstone and electrotine as well. So, let's see if we can get this up and running. Uh, the RV battery should be fairly easy. Tin item casing we can make. Is this tin or silver? That's silver. That's not what we want, Isaac. We'll put that back. Do we have any tin? Oh, we do. Whew, okay. I remember we made a lot of bronze last episode. And I was like, I thought we might have been out of tin. Thankfully, we are not. We'll make two of those. And the two of those should get us two of those. And I thought I was going to get us four, but it doesn't. We will make two more. And we'll get 14 casing. Nice. Did we need one tin plate? We didn't, but we do need one insulated tin cable, which we could, of course, make doing this. We're going to need another plate. Jeez. So many flipping plates here. We can do this. Also, actually, we might... Oh, we can't do it yet because we don't have the generator. One other cool thing that the metal farmer could do is if you set it to uh, rolling mode, it will actually make one plate for every ingot. So we get twice as many plates per ingot i guess instead of requiring two ingots to make one plane it will be one ingot per plane i was gonna just do it then but if then i realized we're making power so that we can actually use the metal farmer and that doesn't work at all so we will again go back and make ourselves some tin cables and uh, for now i'll just use this rubber to take that and then we should be pretty much good to go nice we'll take that we then need three iron plates one two three one two three with a hammer in the top left thank you very much uh, i'll say hi to zafri hey <laughs> All right, and then let's go... Is that right? Yeah, it's that there, but we need the furnace first, which I think requires plates as well. Uh, it does. We need five plates to make that work, so we'll go boom and boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you very much. I don't know why I made ten. <laughs> I mean, I meant to put ten on the iron, not on the plates. That's fine. We never, we can never have too many, uh, too many plates. And then we need a flipping furnace. Now, I don't think... We have enough cobblestone to make a furnace. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brick out of there. And that brick will uh, will come in handy a little later on down the line. But uh, for now, I'm going to use this furnace. Because we don't really need a fully fledged furnace to smelt stuff. These slab furnaces do the job just fine. And so, for now, we'll put you there. And we will go ahead and make a furnace like so. We will then go ahead and combine it up like this. And get ourselves a generator. Which can produce 10 EU per tick. Which, for now, should be enough to actually start getting some stuff done over here. So, we'll put you 
there. We will throw some coal. Actually, do we have any wood lying around? We do. We have a ton of oak. We will throw some oak in there. Like so. And that should actually start this thing up and running. So, we're going to leave that on rolling mode. Because for now, what we want to do is we want to put our steel in there. Now, if we go back over to the tool forge real quick. To make this, we need four plates. Each one is made up of nine. That's 36. So, we need 36 plates. All right, that seems doable. 36. We'll throw that in there. That's probably going to take a while. Maybe not too long, actually. We do have to make sure this thing keeps filled up with fuel. It does. Yeah, that's going. It's burning through the oak very fast there. Uh, we do actually have a bunch of backed up power as well because these uh, uh, generators do have a nice 100,000 redstone flux buffer. So uh, if we need to use these, that's going to be uh, pretty nice in the future as well. But... The next thing, of course, we need to make is the compressor, which thankfully, again, has not been changed in recipe, I don't think. And it should be fairly easy. Yeah, it's just six stone, one electronic circuit, and one basic machine casing, which, of course, does require that one iron chipset, which I did go ahead and make between episodes because it took forever. So I will go ahead and make three more of these plates. I told you they would come in handy at some point. We can make ourselves another machine casing. Then we're going to need six copper cables, which shouldn't be all that difficult if we have some copper Ugh. we've got one but we've got 12 in our inventory that's better <laughs> we'll go ahead and do that boom boom uh, we should probably be using the roller for this but for now we will do this because the roller is busy take six of those uh, i did get some more sticky resin but i didn't quite get enough uh for all of the machines today but we do have enough to do this then i think we're going to need if my memory serves me right i think we need two more of these iron plates and then one redstone maybe I think it's redstone, uh, iron plates, iron plate, and then copper cables? No. <laughs> okay. What do we need? We need... Oh, this way around. Okay, cool. That's nice. Uh, I think redstone... Right now, redstone's a little easier to get than iron plates are, I think, maybe. Uh, and then, we just need some stone. So, let's go ahead and smelt some cobblestone up. And once we've got all of our stone, boom, we get a compressor. Nice. So, let's go ahead and stick this guy down right about there. Now, we do have to hook this guy up to power. We could have put it here, actually, and it would have got power for being right next to the generator. But we can also go ahead and quite simply... I wonder... Actually, we could probably use tin cables. I was going to go ahead and make some copper cables. Uh, copper cables can transfer up to 128 red uh, EU per tick. But uh, insulated tin cables can actually transfer 32 EU per tick. And that should be fine, considering this guy only produces 10. And that should start to power this up. Now... I'm not too sure how well it's going to do at powering both of these at the same time, but we're about to find out. So we'll take those plates and put them in there, and that should start to compress them up into dense plates. Uh, this is losing power a little bit. Yeah, it's struggling a bit to power both of them at the same time, but it should do a fine enough job for now. Let's go and uh, sleep real quick, and hopefully someone will sleep with us, because now we're on a server, we do need half of the server to sleep in order to pass the night. But uh, basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go away. I'm going to wait until all of the steel is finished being rolled up into steel plates. I'm going to wait until all of that refined iron has been turned into a compressed refined iron. I'll be back in a second to make... Oh, go, get the flipping heck away from me. I'll be back in a second to make the tool forge and then the hammer. And a little while later, now that we have four dense refined iron plates, we should be good to make our tool forge. So, let's go ahead and grab our tool station because we are going to need it to make the tool forge. And once you've got a tool forge, you don't really need a tool station anymore. Uh, I did go and get some more stuff for grout so we can go ahead and make some more of that. And we also have one seed brick already, so none should be more than enough to make two more. And then two more gets us three, which is more than enough to do this. Nice! That gets to the tool forge, and now we can finally go ahead and make ourselves the hammer. So... To make the hammer, we need two. We need four things. We need two of these large creeper plates. They're not called large creeper plates, but that's always what I've called them. We also need a hammerhead and then a tough tool rod, which is not the same as the normal tool rod that we already have. And so to make these, uh, we, if Agar choose what material we're going to use, we could make this all out of cobblestone, and it would work, but it would be very, very slow and absolutely terrible. So instead, we're going to use uh, some different materials. A bunch of people in the comment section uh, actually recommended some materials that I use for certain things. Um, so Someone suggested using Electrum 
for the two creeper plates. So that's what I'm going to use for those. And to make Electrum, we simply combine gold and silver in the smeltery. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, each of the large creeper plates require eight material to make. So I did go ahead and make some more stencils. Uh, if we throw those into the stencil table and click on what we want, you can see it says material cost eight, which means it requires eight of whatever ingot we're going to use to make that plate. We need two of these, which means we need 16 Electrum uh, in here, which I think, again, if I'm not mistaken, is simply just eight silver and eight gold like that. And that should get us enough Electrum. Hopefully we have enough lava in there. I think we will. Whilst we're waiting for that to smell up, let's go ahead and make the large creeper plate as well as the large tough tool rod plate and the hammerhead cast as well. Thank you very much. Uh, we now need to make all of these into casts so that we can make them uh, out of metals using the smelter. And of course, we do that in the exact same way that we did it before. We make cobblestone versions of all of these in the part builder, like so, so creeper head, hammerhead, and the tough tool rod, like so. We then don't really need the old versions unless we want to make, again, cobblestone or wood versions so we can get rid of all of those. And we have to put enough uh, gold or aluminium brass into the smell tray to make some casts. Now, I think we have a little bit of aluminium brass lying around. We do have two, uh, which means we need one more in order to actually make this work. We could just put two gold in, and you know what? I'm going to use two gold as well because it's quicker. And then basically what we can do is we can put you there. And if you pour gold over it, it works in exactly the same way as if you were to pour aluminium brass over it. It's just a little bit more expensive because it requires two gold as opposed to one aluminium brass. Uh, but whilst we wait for those to smelt up, we are going to need to not do anything. I was going to pull them all out, uh, this electrum out in ingot form, but that would be a complete waste of time because what we have to do is pour them over the casts. Uh, so we'll have to wait for that. And then I think what I'm going to do, I think people recommended that I use uh, the slime crystals for tool rods. So if we go ahead and type in slime crystal, that's this one here, uh, which is made by smelting slimy mud, which is made using four slime balls, one sand, and one dirt. Uh, we do have four slime balls left, which is actually uh, quite convenient. And then if we take the dirt and the sand, we should be able to just do something like that. And then we can start smelting you up. We'll use that to make the tough tool rod. I don't know if we're going to need three of those. I think we might. Uh, but for now, what we can do is we can put our large plate down. We can pour the gold over that, which should make a cast. Eventually. It is a pretty big one. Oh, there it is. It's just underneath. Okay. And then we should be able to pour our first set of Electrum over that to get our first Electrum version. Again, it's going to use eight Electrum to do that. So that's going to take a little bit of time. And uh, let's get rid of you real quick. Wrong chest. That's fine. And uh, then let's take this. I hope that I can use one of these to make that. Otherwise, we're going to have to head up probably to that slime island and, and hope there's some more slime up there. Uh, if not, that's one Electrum plate. Let's part the other one. Whilst that's doing that, we can actually go ahead. Actually, no, we can't. I was going to say we could go ahead and make the cast for the other using our other drain, but you need to make sure that the, uh, the liquid you're using is at the bottom. Uh, currently, it's not, but we can take the second plate. Then we're going to make the hammerhead cast. Like so. And once that's done, we can go ahead and make ourselves the final. Actually, we should be able to make the tough rod in the um, in the tool forge using the pattern instead of a cast uh, if this actually works. So let's have a look here. Uh, part builder, if I put you in there and you in there, does that work? It doesn't. Oh, we need three of them, I think, in order to make that work. That is a bit of a pain. There's no other way we can make that, is there? Uh, okay, okay, so the, there's usually a slime bouncing around here. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away. I'm going to try and find eight more slime. That's going to be a bit of a pain. I don't know if there's actually any up on that island up there, but I'm going to make my way up there using a bit of a cobblestone nerd. Actually, I'll use dirt. We've got a lot of dirt. I'm going to make my way up there using a bit of a dirt nerd pole. And I'll also put a little bit of iron into the smeltery as well, because I think I'm going to make my hammerhead out of iron. Again, we're going to need eight for that. So I'll put that in there. We'll wait for that to smelt up, and I'll be back in a second. Hey! 
And one quick nerd pole up to the slime island later. And we have four blocks of congealed slime, each of which turn into four slime balls. So we now have more than enough slime to make the other two of the slime crystals. One, two. We will quickly throw those into our, our furnace over here. I was going to call it the smelt ray. Uh, over at the smelt ray, we're going to use our hammerhead pattern to go ahead and grab the hammerhead that we're going to make out of iron. We'll leave that like that. We do have our two electron plates, which is good. And we are pretty much there. Yeah. In terms of making this, where is that final slime crystal? Did I put that somewhere? Or did I make the foolish mistake of trying to leave it in the tool forge and has it like gone and despawned? I have no idea where that slime crystal is. Okay, well, <laughs> the good news is uh, they are very easy to make. We can go ahead and grab a little bit of sand down here. This is a complete mess uh, over here, by the way. We can grab some sand, and we can make one more real quick. It's not too big of a deal. We did waste for slime, but it's fine. We can go ahead and put you there. No rhyme intended there. Uh, we'll throw that in like that, and then we should be pretty much good to go. We'll take you. Uh, once this is done, we will have the tool rod, and then we'll be good to go. After that, all we have to worry about is maybe adding some uh, some upgrades, some modifiers to our hammer, and we will be good to go. So, let's go over here. Oh, it's, it's still in here. Okay. Let's put those in there. Does that not work? Really? I can't make a, uh, a rod? Uh, oh, it does work. Never mind. One, two... Three. Oh, it does work. It's just very, very pale. That gets us a tough slime rod. And then if we come over here, we can put you in there. Electrum, electrum, and then iron. And that gets us an, a hammer. Nice. Mining level of redstone. So again, what we're going to do just to increase that mining level all the way up to obsidian is we're going to use one of our diamonds to uh, to do two things. It's going to increase our mining level to obsidian as well as... Um, Increasing the durability by 500, but right now the durability is 1,930. Afterwards, the durability is 2,430, so the durability has gone up quite a bit. And you'll see we have two modifiers remaining that did use one of our modifiers to do that. How much redstone do we have right now? We have a fair bit, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this uh, 58 redstone that we have right here to make a few blocks of redstone. And then I'm going to use one of our modifiers to actually speed up the hammer. So adding redstone to the hammer increases the speed. You can see right now, where is it? Mining speed is about halfway down. This is 5.33. Uh, if we add one block of redstone, it goes up to 5.76. And we can do this a few times before it actually uses up a modifier. If you look right at the bottom, it says redstone 18 out of 50. Once we get that up to 50, that will count as using up one of our modifiers. You can also see it over here we're at 45 so we have to go 46 47 48 49 and then a little bit more by a little bit i have cost me one more takes us up to not 50 <laughs> And 50. There we go. That one takes us up to 50. Now, if we were to do it again, that would take off some more modifiers. You can see modifiers remaining one. If we try putting more redstone on, that's going to take up the final modifier. So, for now, we're not going to do that just yet. But our mining speed has gone up to 7.73, making it significantly faster than it was before. And if we quickly just head down here, we should be able to kind of show off how this works. It basically mines, like I said, in a 3x3 area, which what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down to Y level around 11 uh, and do some strip mining like this, try and get some more redstone done some more diamonds some more gold and silver stuff like that i'll probably also do some more strip mining at, at higher levels to try and get some more things like copper and tin because we do need a fair bit of those and we don't really have any just yet so well, that's gonna be something we have to work on uh, speaking of all that if you're watching this video on the day of release tonight at around 7 or 8 p.m probably 8 p.m at gmc i will be live streaming this mod pack over on twitch.tv forward slash gaming on caffeine link down in the description don't worry if you can't make it we'll only be doing stuff like uh, we'll probably build a base maybe uh, because I'm fed up of living on this little island. We will do a little bit of strip mining, stuff like that. Maybe show off some other people's bases. Uh, speaking of other people, I did just figure out that there is a little uh, icon over here. Uh, and we can look at server tops. We can look at how many people have died. Um, thankfully, I'm not up there on deaths. Although I did think that I think this is reset. And this is the first time that I've played uh, on the server since we've come back. Tachi has died 40 times. Jeez. Uh, but then if we look over at time played, uh, server tops and time played. Uh, my nine hours did carry over from the single player world. But Tiger Law has 20. 21 hours on the server. It's been up for like two days. That is crazy. I don't know if that's like he's left these character online or what, but that is a long ass time playing on the server. So if you're watching us today, tonight over on Twitch, we'll be streaming this for a few hours. It'll be some fun. You should come hang out. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. Next time we'll come back and we'll progress on with whatever the heck is next in Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. Thanks for watching again. And I will see you guys next time. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet.
Know what? That this... This is it. You can't see that one day, maybe ten years from now, maybe ten months, maybe tomorrow, you're gonna think back on right now and scream to the stars for mercy of death just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won?